Ethan James, you just beat Canelo. Yep, on the early Canelo undercard, beating little mini Canelo. <laughs> well, that was little Canelo uh, that you just beat, Stu Greener. Um, a decision win, and you're now 7-0. and Talk me through the fight. Yeah, it was good. I went out there and doing my first eight rounds. Decided just to take it easy for the first four. Just knew my first eight rounds, I didn't want to go out there and blow myself out. Box to how I wanted to, box to how my corner instructed me to. And then changed it up a bit towards the end. Wanted to stay there a bit more, dig my shots in. Obviously, I landed with some big shots. He caught me with a little flurry in the seventh, I think. But apart from that, it was all clean boxing and an easy win. You look like you're in complete control, apart from the little flurry that you mentioned, but you did everything that you wanted to do. Was that, is that how you envisaged the fight to happen, what happened tonight? Yeah, he's a, he's a good lad. He's like durable. He's come, to, he's come to a fight. Obviously, I know the level of opponent he is, and I, I know where I'm at, where I want to push on to, but I'll box to instructions, and that's what I wanted to do tonight. So you uh, had, have a little embrace with your mum and dad, as you do at the end. Um, what do they say to you? What do they think? Yeah, they're always behind me 100%. They, they love being there. Obviously, big card on, bigger card on tonight. I've got a good slot on TV. Hopefully, put on a good performance. Everyone back home and hope to be on these again. Shoe Army were, were in full force as well. How, how many did you do tonight? How many? Are they, they were proper going for it. Yeah. Unfortunately, not, not as many as I wanted. I got about 130 in tonight. Yeah. But there's a good 300 that normally come. But unfortunately, it was a quick turnaround, so they couldn't all turn up. But don't worry, back out next year, there'll be a full army back. You look like you have 100 sponsors. Tell me how many sponsors you have. I don't know, about, <laughs> about 20, 15. But they're, they're all behind me, 100%. They all give me enough money so I don't have to go to work, train full time. And if it wasn't without them, I wouldn't be able to be here. Well said. Uh, what's next? Hopefully a title shot at something in the next in the next fight or something. Hopefully in March time. Look at an area or an English title, hopefully. I know I'm there level-wise to do it. Push up to a 10-rounder and just see where I am. I know I'm up there. Hopefully get a good, good winning opponent. So we, we like to build fights here. We like to talk about guys in the same weight division. Mark Chamberlain and, and Sam Noakes. We've been building them guys up. I look at you. And then I look at someone like Henry Turner, who's doing the same sort of thing as you. He's going out there, he's looking classy, yeah. he's winning fights. Do you rate him? Is it, could that be a future fight? Yeah, he's, he's a good lad. We come through the amateurs together. I'm not, I, it'd be stupid for me not to say he's a good lad, because obviously where he's at. But I, I believe in myself 100%, and if there's a fight there, I ain't shy to take it. I think I'll win it. That's, that's my opinion. I'm not going to go in there thinking I'm not. But if that fight was to happen, I reckon I'll win. Simple. That's exactly what I wanted to hear, Ethan. Uh, anyone you want to thank? Uh, I mean, we haven't got all night, mate, so... Thanks to all my sponsors. I'm sorry I can't say them all because it'll be too long, but without you guys I wouldn't be able to be here. Thank you. Congratulations. Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Well done. Thank you.